This is the perfect material for a kite tail. Gee, Papa, what are you going to use for kite string? My super stretch, super strong steelhead catfish line, of course. Now stand back for the test flight. Of course I'm all right. Why wouldn't I be all right? I just decided we'd have to launch this kite from up high. That's all. Now, hand that kite up here. Come on, briskly now. We haven't got all day. Do you think this thing will fly? It must weigh a ton. The space shuttle weighs four and a half million pounds, and it cruises with the greatest of ease. You just don't understand aerodynamics. But, Papa, please. We just want to fly a kite. This time, she's going to take off like a bird. You'll see. It was just a matter of getting some height on it, getting her up into the breeze. I tell you, she's going to soar like a bird. Here we go. Like a bird, huh? Yeah, a dead bird. Papa, this kite is never going to fly. Sheer defeatist poppycock. Why, I've flown kites since I was knee-high to a ladybug. Cub and bear, I've flown everything that flies. Flew the mail with Grizzly Doolittle. Have a perfumed scarf from Amelia Bearheart. You know, if we just had enough power to get her up into those thermals... Hmm. I've got it. I've got the answer. Mama! Mama, bring round the family car. We're gonna go fly a kite and win us a fabulous prize. Oh, dear. Please, Mama, it's the kite contest. And it's this afternoon, Mama. Please. <sighs> okay, start the engine. Okay, let her rip. Whoa! Hey, oh, hey, Zephyr, stop! Help! Look! Papa forgot to let go! He forgot to let go! Oh, dear! Poor Papa! Uh, help! Help! Stop the car! Stop the car! Now that is the strangest looking bird I ever saw! No! No! Don't stop the car! Don't stop the car! Didn't think he was going to make it! Wings too short, and he's much too thick in the fuselage! Go, Mama! Go! That's it! Go! I am quite simply the best pizza twirler in these parts. Or any other parts. Just take the pizza so... Dear Papa, please! And so! Pizza twirling contest, here I come! Yes, sir! Make room for me in the Pizza Twirlers Hall of Fame! Sorry about that. Uh, why is I burp and leave? Uh, I mean, uh, live and breathe. It's my old bum. Hey, I mean, uh, old chum, Papa Q Bear. Uh, I'll try pizza twirling, Mayor. Fine choice. But you realize, of course, that uh, you'll be up against some uh, pretty uh, stiff competition here. Huh? When it comes to pizza twirling, Mr. Mayor, I have no competition. I don't know, Papa. Yes, look who we're up against. Maestro Guarini, the symphony conductor. Oh, 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 my delightful friend. The twirl of the pizza is not in the luck. It is in the wrist. Oh, Papa Bear, I understand you are competing against me in the pizza twirling contest. That's right, Maestro. And I think you should be forewarned. All in the wrist. 
Are you going to go through with it, Papa? Not only am I going to go through with it, I'm going to win the contest. I'm going to fix that Bruini at his silly wrist. Why, I'll out twirl, out toss, out spin. Hmm, you never know. This just might be worth something to the Arch Weasel McCree. <laughs> What's this? Another bit of boring, worthless bear country trivia from that scoundrel rapish Ralph? Bear Town Fair, entire population of bear country will be assembled. Papa Bear has entered the pizza twirling contest. Pizza twirling contest? Papa Bear? What in the name of all that's evil and greedy do I care if that fat faced idiot Papa Q Bear entered a pizza twirling contest? <laughs> hmm. Perhaps there are possibilities. Weasel! Yes, Arch Weasel? Get me the file on plan 453K. Yes, Arch Weasel? and arrange a meeting with that scoundrel, Ruffish Ralph. Uh, is that you, McGree? How many times must I tell you no names? All right, Mr. McGree... Uh, <clears throat> whatever your name is. All right. You know what you have to do. Ah, uh, that's right, my friend. And, uh, and you know what you have to do. Look out! Here comes another one. More dough! More dough! Hold your horses, Papa. Here comes Mama with another batch. Hurry, the contest is tomorrow, and I have practicing to do. This is the last batch. I've used up all my ingredients. Just watch this, and this. Way to go, Papa. Good twirl, Papa. Very good, Papa. <laughs> Very good indeed. Thank you, Ralph. Uh-oh. It's Rappish Ralph. Yeah, I saw him skulking around at the sign -up. I wonder what he's up to. No good, you can bet. But unfortunately, my friend, not good enough. Not good enough for what? Well, not good enough to beat Bruini. I've scouted his camp, and he is something special. Good, huh? Out of this world. Why, he does a triple twist under the leg twirl while singing O Solomio in high tenor. In the bushes again. That pesky paper bear! Uh, if I ran my farm the way he delivers papers, well, looky here. Farmer Ben wins first pumpkin prize at the Bear Country Fair. Oh, wait till I show this to the missus. For the tenth year in a row, the top pumpkin honor was awarded to longtime resident Farmer Ben. Yep, no one had a chance against me. Oh, how I pampered that pumpkin, fed it vitamins, dusted its leaves, massaged its... Oh, no, no, it can't be. I've been robbed. Help! A thief whipped off my prize pumpkin. It's been filched, stolen. Help me, someone, please. You hear that? Farmer Ben's prize pumpkin filched, ripped off, stolen. It is clearly a case for the bear detectives. We gotta act fast before the crook gets away. Right, let's get our surefire detective kit. Come on, Cousin Freddy. We're investigating a mystery. We'll need snuff, too. Farmer Ben's been robbed. All right, dump the bone snuff. We're chasing criminals. The kit's in the garage. Stand clear. Yep, everything we'll need. Magnifying glasses, handcuffs. The thief hasn't got a chance against us. That's for sure. 
Uh, what exactly was stolen from Farmer Ben? A pumpkin. A pumpkin? Terrific. We're investigating a vegetable. Uh, it's an outrage. Snatched from under my nose in broad daylight. Don't you worry, Farmer Ben. Your pumpkin crime is as good as saw. It is? Yes. The bear detectives are on the case. <laughs> pumpkin crime? Detectives? Chapter 1 says, the first rule is study the crime scene. The crime scene? You sure you can find my pumpkin? No guarantees, but we haven't failed yet. Inspector Papa Q Bear at your service. Yes, sir, I've examined crime scenes from here to Zanzibar. Experienced every sort of depravity known to bears, from honey theft a dastardly crime, to failing to stop at a duck crossing, a minor misdemeanor. 